Okay. Here we are, Liberty Walk yes. in Thailand. Welcome. Yes. Welcome. Not in, in Japan. It feels yes. like Japan, but it's in Thailand. We are in the hot depths. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hot over Japan. Hot weather. So what's up? You want to give me the tour? What is this? This is just like your main area. So that you we're guys... starting from that side before seven and a half year ago. We beginning from that side. Yeah. First of all, we okay. I want to do some workshop. Like a garage. When uh, we was young, uh, we we saw the cool car from the internet, right? Uh, the first website uh, we we saw the Liberty Walk is a speed hunter. Actually, uh, it's your uh, picture. Really, my yeah. pictures. You shoot the uh, four, five, eight, and uh, thirty-five. Really? Right? This is the first picture of our Liberty Walk. Uh, we saw it. Uh, this was in 2013. Yeah. Yes. So it uh, made yes. us big uh, inspiration. After that. That night, I'm uh, type the email and send to the Liberty Walk. To Toshi. Liberty Walk is a big company, right? We worry uh, maybe uh, they didn't see our uh, email or I something. I think it's easy to say that we are no one. Yeah, but we are no one. We have no shop. So we don't have an experience to yes. make the business like this before because he is an accountant and a programmer, and me is an architect. Did you design this place then? Yes. Because uh, you're an architect. Yes. You actually designed this. It is so crazy. So you incorporated like containers, and you also incorporated like what steel structures. Yes. Here. Yes. So because it needs to be from the beginning yeah. because after he tried to contact with the Toshi, and then okay, that on that year in Thailand we have a uh, Bangkok Auto, Auto Salon. Salon. So uh, Liberty Walk wants to come here also on the, on that town. So they send some stuff to us to prepare for them. So mm. after the Bangkok Auto Salon, we have a meeting with uh, Kato and Toshi, mm. and then they make a decision that, okay, we will give you a chance, our family in Liberty Walk. So actually, uh, we, we are a distributor, actually uh, with our paperwork, right? Yes. Yeah, uh, just a promise, uh, word by word, with the Kato Sang. Yeah. After he go back to Japan, uh, he said, uh, you guys are a distributor, but with our paperwork, <laughs> until today. Yes. About, so then you yeah. guys actually build full Liberty Walk builds here? Yes. Yeah. The, the first, first one built in my house. On the first year, we built just only two or three cars. Two or car. three cars. So it's very hard. Yeah, it's very hard to start business here because the car price is really expensive compared to mm, the all other over the world. Wow. And after that, we opened the car hotel here. Oh. This one is like a third pad here. Yes. Oh. Third, third set. The second one is a wrapping wrapping room, the wrap icon, and then after that we start here, the outfit mm. car hotel. Oh, so that, then if you could get your, you could store your car yes, here. Yes, yes, uh, for oh. our customer. And the uh, name of Alfred is, is, is me the butler for the Batman. <laughs> oh, Alfred. Yeah. <laughs> Alfred. Yes. Oh, that's super because cool. Because the customer is Batman, right? Yeah, yeah. Batna Batman cannot uh, do anything with our Alfred. Yeah. yeah so that's why. That's cool. <laughs> That's really rare, huh? Yeah. A left-hand drive challenger. This is yes. one and only in Thailand. <laughs> the only one. Yes. Only one challenger in Thailand. What a nice location. This is uh, this is an office for the Infinite Media. Wow. Whoa. That is so cool. You just have a car in the office like that? Yeah. On the second floor. On the second floor. How did you get it here? Uh, by the forklift car. Huh. <laughs> oh my god. That is so cool. It's parked here uh, forever. <laughs> <laughs> I see. We bring it up here before we have the glass here. Ah. So by the folk leaf and then coming inside. So it's just going to live here forever. Yeah. It's part of the decoration of the yes. office. It's kind of like a one of one 
scale model car. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a Tomei motor. That is so cool. Amazing. Oh, this is a his car, actually. Oh. Yes. I guess you can't drive this anymore, huh? Uh, before it's a race car. I race on the <laughs> circuit. Uh, and then after, stop this car and we bring up here. That is so cool. And uh, inside is my uh, architect office. Oh, this yeah. is the architect. Hello. Yes, yes. This is architecting, but, wow. but you can walk around. Oh, very nice. So you guys do all the projects here. Yeah. Oh, amazing. Very cool. Thank you guys for showing us around. Oh, so we were just walking around your parking lot here at Liberty Walk. Yeah. And I noticed that there's a taxi here. Yeah. But it's not really a taxi. Yeah, it's not. What is this? Actually, uh, this is a GR, GR new version for the Altis. No, it's joking. This is uh, my uh, stunt car because I am do the stunt driver in Thailand too. Around uh, 60 movies per year. Half the Indian movie, uh, they hired us to make the drift taxi like this. And uh, this car just shoot last month ago in Pattaya. So this is a, like, a, like a replica of a taxi that you would see here in yeah. Thailand? Yes, yes, yes. Like what region would this type of taxi be? Is it like uh, Bangkok or like this, the, the livery? Yeah, uh, the Bangkok, yeah. Actually. This is like a Bangkok livery? Yes, yes, okay, yes, got yes. it. So then, <laughs> what, what, what's the story behind this? What, what, is actually, what is this car? What is underneath it? Actually, this is a Nissan Cephalo A31. You need a body swap? Yeah, body swap. Can, it's not can I take a look swap. at the engine? Yeah. It's not the engine swap, it's a body swap. Right. So, this is a A31. You can tell from this. So this is yeah. this is A31. Yes. This is where it starts yes. to be Toyota. Yes. So this is all Toyota still. Yes. Yes. It even has a Toyota vehicle. Yes. So we this is Toyota. A five day. Five days. Five day build this car. So this is interesting. You run Liberty Walk yeah. here in Thailand. Yes. You're a stunt driver. You're an architect. I'm a drifter too. You're a drifter. Yeah. And there's so many Liberty Walk cars here. Yes. The car that interests me the most is your taxi. Yeah. This yes. is so cool. I can't tell. So, so then, <laughs> what, what, do, what did you do for the engine? Below is a 2JC, top is a 1JC. Got Thailand it. Thailand is called a 3JC, something like that. Ah. And put the AR66 uh, and a big uh, injector here. It's a uh, 1,200 uh, uh, injector something. <laughs> this car makes around 650 horsepower on wheel. I mean, that's more than enough. That's more than what you need for this. Yeah. So this had to be tubed for the for this Toyota yeah. to fit, huh? Yes. Because the mounting points, you ha kind of have to recreate them or you have to make a new one? Yeah, oh, oh. we make a new one. Because uh, we moved back from the A31 around our eight centimeter uh, to fit to the body, yes. Wow. <laughs> you can't really tell from the outside. Yeah, the outside. Yeah, it's just a, it's just a normal a taxi, Thai typical taxi, and actually wheel is a form the Honda Accord. So then, because traditionally the, the, the Toyota, what what is it called, the Artis? Yes, in Thailand called Altis. Altis. Yes. So then, they it was four four lug. Those are four lug. Yeah. Or the five lug. Yes. Uh, five. They're also five yeah, lug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, this the look. <laughs> yeah. You, you purposely chose these wheels for yeah. the look. So it looks stock. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, request from the customer, uh, they need the Eastern car like, uh, look like normal taxi for the movie. Everything is a uh, look same in the real. So but why. it drifts. Yeah. And it makes a lot of tires yeah. smoke. Yes. yes. So then this is your this is your logo. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm pushed uh, just for this event. Oh. But, but uh, for the movie, uh, behind is a Thai alphabet. Oh. Uh, right is a private a taxi. Got it, yes, got yes, it. Yes, yes, Got it. And uh, this is a uh, complaint number. If the driver is bad, uh, they call this number for <laughs> complaint. <laughs> right. Yeah. So they'll call the complaint about yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah the sure. back is the same thing. So what about the exhaust? Does that this still is work? This is exhaust no? from uh, Mercedes Benz. Does it still work? Yeah, still. And that's a fake license plate? Yeah, fake license plate. This is white license plate. 
I'm just sprayed for the movie. Got it. Yeah. So then this is <laughs> this is crazy. A31. A31. Oh my god. Yeah, A31. That's all A31, yes, and you just yes, took yes. a saw and cut it yeah, all yeah. off. Yeah, cut it off. Just cut it off and just put it back. And then you, when you, the, the for the Toyota, you gutted it too, got the whole thing. Yeah. And you just dropped the body yeah. on. Just drop the body, uh, just like an RC car. Yes. Actually, this is not the first time because this, I'm, I'm doing like oh, this many times. Oh, 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 just uh, just like an RC car, like yes. a like a Lexan body. Yes. It's this casual for you. You just do this here. Uh, in my friend shop. Can we take a look at the inside? Yeah. <laughs> when we shoot the movie, oh my god! Yeah. When we shoot the movie, I'm just put the stock uh, seat. But this is uh, when we drive the stunt kill. We we change this. It's very easy. Uh, have a e brake. Wait. So then, for the movie, did you have the stock steering wheel and stuff? Yeah, I have a stock a steering wheel. When when they shoot the interior scene, uh, everything is look look same as a real one. Real taxi, yeah. just like a real taxi it has yeah, all like yeah, yeah, yeah. the timer and everything. Yeah. But then, so this one has a hydraulic e-brake? Yes. Because behind I have a tool, a caliper. Yes. And this is a cut-off switch. Uh, this is a transmission here, right? Yeah, I'm chained to this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So these are all automatic then? Uh, from the factory, the Toyota? No, no. Uh, the original is, uh, is, is manual. Is manual. Yes, okay, it yes. is. Uh. But does any of this stuff still work or no? No, no, because uh, we made in five days. Oh. But after this, uh, we, we have a plan to uh, make everything can use. Oh. Yeah. Because it's, it's just only stun cube. What about the back? This door still opens. Yeah. So then you could see, because this was never meant to be uh, a rear wheel drive car. This was only a front wheel drive car, right? Yes. So so then the, that's why the tunnel yes is a lot higher yeah. yes for a rear wheel drive oh, and then this is um for the e uh, master cylinder yes where did you get this off of <laughs> <laughs> look at it that's crazy that's some ingenuity to get it to, to work huh yeah huh. Uh, we just think and we just cut and we just put it <laughs> amazing. It's so cool. You can see, right? I have a two a caliper inside uh, from yeah. the skyline. Yeah. So then this is not street legal then? Not street legal. It's just for the movie things. God. Yeah, but uh, sometimes I'm driving this uh, to the car show in Thailand sometimes. Oh, of yeah. course. Because you actually wanted to try to pick me up from the airport in yeah. this. Actually, because I'm, I'm stunned, right? I, I have the uniform for the taxi driver in Thailand. <laughs> So sometimes I'm wearing the uniform and drive on the road. Uh, actually, last three weeks ago, I have a state Methan meeting here. I'm drive this car to the meeting and I'm wearing the uniform. When 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 I came from my house here, the people call me, stop me. <laughs> They're trying to get you get get rides. Yeah, I'm just you. drive past. <laughs> Because I, I think it would be me. hilarious if somebody got in your car and you gave them a ride and you floored it. Yeah. 600, how much horsepower? 600? 650 horsepower. 650 yeah, horsepower. Wheel. <laughs> oh my god. Actually, this one can put the 18 inch wheel too. Yeah, for the drift, uh, the real drifting can. 205. Yeah, this is 205. Jeez. A thread wear is around a 300 thing. <laughs> Fifth gear burnout. Yeah. Yeah. Easy. Wait, yeah. so then the transmission, everything is still uh, stock, uh, A31 Safira? No, uh, transmission is uh, RB25 with uh, OS uh, twin plate. Mm. Because uh, before this, I'm telling you, this is, a, this is real race car before. Yeah. And the then, one. so what about the diff? Is it a, a solid diff or? Yeah, 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 for the solid diff. Oh, it's uh, just welded? Yes, yes. So, I love it. Very cool. Thank you so much. Actually, after this, uh, you should drive this car. When? Yeah, by yourself uh, to the Smith, to the JDM Mid. Oh. Because it's very close. It's around okay. three kilometers. If you want, you can. Uh, I'd love that. That yeah. would be great. But can, I'm, we? I'm, can, can, can I warn you a little bit? Because it's a don't, don't have an air condition. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> a little I'll bit just fun. roll the window down. No problem. Okay. <laughs> very funny, this car. All right. There we go.
Hey, uh, Oat's gonna let me drive this to the JDM meet. Oh my God. Yeah. I'm not kidding. This dude. is the perfect for oh, the JDM kidding. meet. I'm not kidding. Yeah. Uh, no, well, because he was gonna pick me up from the airport in this, uh, but unfortunately he got stopped at some checkpoint. You sit with him. You, have you sit to with have, him you behind. Have to be registered as a taxi driver to go to the airport, so he doesn't have like the registration sticker. He has a uniform though. Yeah, I have a uniform. Yeah, but. He, yeah, I know. If a taxi driver is registered to go to the airport, he can't go to the airport. <laughs> yeah. Five uh, security three cards stop me. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm drive fast because uh because I'm I worry him. <laughs> Hilarious. Oh my god, amazing, amazing! I can't wait to drive this thing. This is gonna be good. <laughs> I promise I won't do a burnout or anything. Liberty Walk, Thailand. If, if I didn't know any better, I would think that this is a scene out of Japan. It looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, it's insane. The quality of the builds is what blows me away. I, tr about. I trigger a lot of people on the internet because I say that Bangkok is the new Tokyo. I know people get upset when I say that. Oof, yeah. that's a rough It's one. a bold claim. That is bold. It's a bold claim. I'm standing by it. Flame me in the comments. I mean, so... I don't really know. I think really the big difference that I've seen, and this is something that we talked about before, the people that have the wealth here care about these cars. Yeah. You know, the price of entry to be a car enthusiast in Japan and also in the US, basically nothing. I didn't realize how spoiled I was being an American car enthusiast till I came to Southeast Asia. And I visited places like Singapore, here, Vietnam, you know, with these massive import duty taxes. When I would get on Facebook Marketplace and I look at cars for sale and I would go, wait, hold up. <laughs> you want how much for what? This has to be a joke, right? I didn't know this when I first came here in 2015. I was like, oh, I'm gonna buy a cool car. And I started looking at the prices and I was like, a 350Z cost $40,000. Oh my God. A, a GT86 cost $60,000 for a GT86, not a GR, a GT86. What? <laughs> there was a very harsh that reality check. That is insane. I mean, that's the thing. In the US, you could still, if, if you really tried hard, you could probably find a 350Z for $2,000, yeah. you know? A clapped out one. Yeah. But still something that's a great that you can drift, drive. drift missile, there track you go. day car. Yeah. Yeah. So Not price so of here. entry, low for Japan and for US. But Thailand, you have to have some sort of wealth to play with cars. Now to be fair, Thailand, there's a certain there's certain cars here that are very affordable. There's certain cars here that are actually more affordable here than back in the US. Oddly enough. It's the retro Mercedes and retro BMWs. I'm talking about 190E Benz, mm -hmm. uh, E30, E36, E46 sedans. For some reason, these cars are very plentiful here and you can actually buy really nice ones at a very, very affordable price. But other cars, again, like a, a BRZ is just unjustifiably expensive for what it is. Mm. But the Sephiro, you've seen Sephiro. Sephiros yeah. are like, they're like uh, the Fox body of Thailand. <laughs> they're everywhere. People buy them as a cheap chassis. They ram whatever motor in it, whether it be a twin turbo UZ V8 or 2JZ or RB26. And you buy a Sephiro for like $3,000. That's it. Yeah. That's awesome. So it's like, there, there's certain cars that if you know what to look for, you can actually get some good deals. Mm. But then again, if you go buy, you know, the RZ, you know, 350Z, a 370Z, you know, a 370Z Nismo, that's what I had before I left the US. I had a 2019 Nismo 370Z. Here, uh, even a used one is over $100,000 for Nismo 370Z. Okay, so I, I just, just quickly, I just kind of wanted to run everybody through a little bit of your history. Sure. And what compelled you to come here in the first place? Because obviously I know what's kept you here. Yeah. There's just so much car culture to tell, so much to uncover for the world to yeah. see. What initially brought you here and what was like that hook? I was just bored in Atlanta. 
you know, I was a photographer for all the big major magazines uh, based out of California that, you know, we probably both shot for. I don't know, I was just bored. And I just like, I really wanted to like go travel, but I wanted to experience something that was like super crazy. I didn't want to go to something that was typical, like go to like Paris or, you know, something like that. And I just got done, I just got sucked down a rabbit hole of YouTube videos like one does about Southeast Asia. And I was like, oh, like this is, it looks very exciting. And then once I stumbled into the fact that there was car culture here and I was still shooting for those magazines, it, a light bulb went off and I said, I can come over here, attend the car shows, feature cars, attend races, photograph the races, write articles, and I can make money while I travel and experience car culture. And it was just like the biggest light bulb moment of my life. It was like, wow, I have to do this. And I begged all my friends to come with me. Nobody would do it. And then one day I just said, screw it. And I booked a flight and I, this is Bangkok was my first stop. So essentially it's almost been 10 years of you just telling the story from Southeast Asia. Uh, I came here originally, I think it was the end of 2015. And uh, from 2015 to 2019, I would split my time uh, half here, uh, mostly in Thailand, but also, uh, you know, I, I traveled to Cambodia, uh, Vietnam, Japan, all around Southeast Asia, and other areas, Dubai, uh, shooting cars, writing articles for the magazines. So then, at the time, was there anybody else creating English content? No. And there's, there, there's really, there's a couple guys here that have YouTube channels that are mostly uh, based about living in Thailand and like vlog style stuff, but their channel is not dedicated toward car culture like how mine is. Understood. So, um, yeah, it's, it, no one else is doing it. There's plenty of guys that are doing it in, in Thai language, but obviously the language barrier is a massive barrier to Americans. Brits, Australians, and me coming over here and featuring cars and events in English, man, it's, it's actually changed a lot. Uh, you know, when you came to the Drift event, how many white guys or foreigners did you see? Like basically none, right? Yeah. Now you see Sunday when we go to the big event, there's gonna be a lot of foreigners there and they've kind of, they've saw my videos and they love to travel, they love Thailand, they love cars, and so it's it's interesting the way it's the demographic of people attending events have shifted, pretty much because of my videos, which is which is weird to say, but um, yeah, it's, it's it's crazy. All right, so this is something that I didn't think I was gonna get looped into. I didn't re I didn't realize I was gonna get looped into this. Good luck. This is You're pretty cool. It. You're driving a full blown drift car with like a triple disc clutch in the middle of Bangkok rush hour traffic. And then, well, that and then it's an actual, it's like a taxi replica and they made me actually put on this real taxi uniform. So, uh, this should be fun. If anybody flags you down, you have to pick them up and take them wherever they're going, Larry. Okay? It's 650 wheel horsepower. So, so what, 1,000 baht, take them wherever they want? Correct. Do a little burnout? Yeah, you're, you're a Thai taxi driver, no meter, 1,000 <laughs> baht minimum. <laughs> you hear that, Yip? Yes, yes, 1,000 baht, you're earning money. Yeah, yeah. I'm earning money, yeah. About time. This is how I'm gonna pay for this trip. Larry, it's about time you got a real job. <laughs> <laughs> See, they work in Look, 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 look at this, look at, oh, look. I'm literally about to get in this car that they're working on right now. Uh -huh. You guys know I love taping up my cameras. So if the car is taped up, it's even better. Follow him. This is insane! Oh my god, this is the whole welcome to Thailand thing right here. Should we, should we get gas or should we get gas? Okay. Yeah, don't have a E85. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. oh, this is on E85? Yes. Oh my god! <laughs>
guy has no idea. This has triple the horsepower. Okay, one, oh. one has to pass. <laughs> Car cold. Super hot. It's very warm. I'm all the way in third gear. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is so ridiculous. <laughs> this is the fastest taxi in Thailand. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is so crazy. This is so ridiculous. You need a ride? Where are you going? Uh, I don't oh, know. <laughs> Where, wherever you want to go. Uh, uh, Fire Oak Hotel. Oh, Fire Oak oh, Sky. What? One thousand baht. One th hey, come on, hey. bro. Give me a better. Grab is cheaper. Give me hey. five hundred. Five hundred. For you, good deal. Good deal. Seven fifty. Hey. I've driven a lot of weird cars in my life. This is probably up there. Um, people were staring at us and it was very difficult to drive. It was very hot and there's no air conditioning. The windows don't go down, in the back at least. And um, yeah, it was, it was insane. I just can't believe that we did that. Man, it has so much power. Oh my God. It's very hard to keep traction of this thing. 650 wheel horsepower with 205 all seasons. Not a very good combination. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to support us directly, go to LarryChenPrints.com. I print and sign every single one of these. This is the perfect gift or it's the perfect piece of art for your wall.